these guys are really funny. With all the things happening in this country, you guys will not call out Buhari, but now you are calling Peter B, who is not even yet uh, the president, who is not even holding any political part, uh, position in this administration. You are calling him, you are asking him why he has not uh, talked to IPOB, that every day they kill and do sit at home. He has not said anything. The, the, you see the person in charge of the <laughs> the armed forces or what? The coordinator of Buhari vote guard and awareness. Oh, this was not nice. Not even Buhari too. He never even called Buhari who is in charge of the the armed forces. Kelaini Mohammed had an interview with TVC where he said that those feeling marginalized should take their grievances to the National Assembly and table their demands to them. Kelami Mohammed also talked about the emergence of a third force in the 2023 presidential election. He said the third force came late as it is already dead on arrival because it is not possible to be a president on social media. Mm -hmm. Like seriously? Kelani Mohammed said the third force came very late and it is already dead on arrival. You cannot be a president on social media. It is not possible at all. Who is a president on social media? Because as far as I'm concerned, uh, those were the things that you get guys were saying saying the other time or from the beginning but that is not the, what it is and i think this man is still living in the past they have proven to you more than ever before that they are not on social media this one is still singing the song that uh, everybody has even forgotten even your buhari even tinubu himself Kayamu that is always speaking that his mouth is so sharp he can't even say that obi is on social media yes we all know he has some those youth that are unemployed that don't give anything to who are always marching for him to say he should become the next president oh you have unemployed people who created them is it peter b that created the unemployed youth it is not possible we we like our Igbo brothers and sisters but they must come to the mainstream of our political landscape if they do if they don't do that there is problem peter b said he would move Nigeria from consumption to production, but he only gave them a brewery in Anambra State, which the youth normally drink, get drunk, and cause havoc in the society. Can you imagine? Hey! Up till now, you cannot talk to high pop, but let him talk to high pop. Every day, they keep people and do sit at home, destroying the economy of the Southeast. Is that the person you want us to vote for? We are afraid if we vote this man, there will be war in this country. You can imagine. <laughs> ah, Nigeria would not see something. You, you have this kind of people. These are the kind of people. This kind of person has the same mindset with Buhari and Malami. That is their mindset too. With what we are going through now, it is in Namdi uh, Peter B that is causing it. Hmm, I beg. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is really laughable. Very, very laughable. Can you see how? deadly and wicked these people can be you are in charge of the economy do biafra or south east do they have a different government who oh my god hey no could not come here this man what does he call himself he says his name is kilani hmm very funny set of people hey wow why can't you talk to boko haram abby ask him is beating and on tipa that is carrying sand chasing shadows a lack ways for his campaign hence his ways that's a good question keliane mohammed don't you have mouth must it be peter b that must do the talking why the apc government keep on sending terrorists to kill in the southeast in the name of ipop how many boko haram iswap and bandits have you or any northern candidates have talked to you hypocrites why are you not telling the same yeah, yeah, yeah. why are you not asking the same question asking article the same question mm. <laughs> where well, your article and kwa so have they spoken to iswab boko haram and fulani do these people do they really think or they think nigerians are that they are dumb you those are the things that are affecting them they are the ones causing problem their region is the region causing more problem in this country they will not nobody has even said why should anybody from the northern northern region come out and contest with all the things happening there it is only southeast it is only south it is now our high time see what gumi has been spewing none of them will say anything but let's even 
somebody say half of what Gumi is saying from Southeast, you will see, you will know the, the different groups that they have in this, uh, in this country, from that region. They are not ashamed of themselves. You are Tiku and Kokwazo, they have not spoken to Yuswap and Fulani SB that have, that have raped, killing and kidnapped Nigerians. Your hatred over Igbo say we soon destroy you, Ama Juris. Have you talked to the people that are kidnapping and killing people, the terrorists you people brought to destroy the nation? That is why you Fulanis are killing Igbo people, taming them, you know, or tagging them Igbo. God will surely judge you people. Continue stealing our oil. Can't Atiku talk to Boko Haram, Aousa man with hatred towards Ubi? You talk of Anambra and forget your home that has been taken over by bandits and terrorists since eight years ago. Can you imagine? Go and fight bandits. We love hip hop, and you don't, and you do nothing. This man, see how wicked you are. I've said this. If it is not wickedness, I don't know what you want to call this. Why didn't you send message to the Ayman Jury Buhari, who is the present president of the Satanic ruling party? If it is that easy to do, why have you people not been able to talk to bandits and Boko Haram to stop their atrocities? You better remove the log in your own eye before you can see properly to remove the speck in another person's eye. Kelani Mohammed, you and your cohorts are the reason why I pope are still agitating in Nigeria. How many times have you spoken to Boko Haram? Bandits. Fulani S-men and kidnappers. Peter B has told you that bad and evil leadership is the reason for all the agitation in the country. You are just playing ethnic and religious cards which are obsolete in the in this dispensation that we are in, by God of your inclination must be retired in 2023. New Nigeria is possible. Be obedient and be useful. Okay, God bless you, my brother. This man could be one of those people terrorizing others with their religion. Even Boko Haram, which is their offspring, what have they said about it? They think people are just dumb. Maybe the way they talk to their people who do not even re reason. Majority of them don't reason. Not all of them anyway. But large number of them don't even reason. They think the same way they can just throw words to people. And people will say, oh, it is true. Hey, go and go and go and say to hip hop. Go and do this. Go and do that. I think uh, now it's getting clearer. With uh, Odudua Nation and Tinubu now. They are, they are dragging it now. Now he's fighting them. He's fighting them. Sometimes old become problem with some people old age becomes problem with some people like this man is obi the president i don't know whether he's the one in charge of a uh, the armed forces what have you said about Boko Haram? everybody's saying the same thing because these guys they are just something else they are terrible people terrible people indeed can you imagine so guys let's hear your opinion and have your take on this